welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be filming again. And today I'm going to share with y'all some of my empties. Now, I usually do these like, I think I've only done like three in, in total. I usually do, do them per season, like for example, in fall, uh, summer, etc. But those videos are always super long and I... I can't say that this one won't be long because it probably will, but you know, at least I can give you a more detailed explanation on all of the products. So yeah, let's actually get started and let's see what I have in here. Sorry, I got an email from my boss and I had to respond. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I have in here are actually some, uh, well, the box of some whitening strips and these are the Equate ones. So it's like the brand for Walmart. So it's like way cheaper. I think these were like 15 bucks of if anything. Um, they did work. I bought these because I had a uh, last year I, I bleached my teeth with the Crest 3D white strips and those were fabulous. But I do feel like you have to, especially me because I drink a lot of tea and I drink coffee and I drink soda. I always try to drink them with a straw. But still, like, I feel like there's still a little bit of yellowing in the teeth. So I wanted to maintain them. But I didn't want to spend again like 50 or 40 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever um so i bought these they do work but they are very uncomfortable because they're not actually like little thin strips like they're it's like a little it's like a long blue plastic thing and you just put it kind of like a retainer but a little bit thicker and mm. my next product that i've used up is my gummies which still smells delicious a bottle i already have another bottle there and so there's 90 gummies you eat a two a day so that's like a month and a half um of gummies um and i, I think i'm halfway done through that one so let's say i've used them for two months um i haven't measured the length of my hair or anything but I do feel like my nails, and my nails already kind of grow fastish. I do feel like my nails are a little bit less brittle. I don't even know if the word is brittle. Just like damaged because I'm always constantly painting them like at least twice a week. So they sometimes get very yellowish um, and they also peel off at the end. And as for my hair, um, I did get cut off quite a bit of it. Um, so there's not a lot of split ends anymore. Um, so yeah, I think they are helping. I'm going to keep using them because I do like the taste. I personally don't like gummies, but these are very delish and they don't actually stick to my teeth. So that's a pretty freaking good. The next empty is another box. I think this is like my fourth box of the VO5 Hot Old Therapy. And these are really good. I use them once a week and they really help my hair. Ones that I didn't really notice a difference in it are these from Garnier Fruities. Um, I actually got these in Mexico, so I don't think they're available in the US at all. Um, they were okay. I definitely like my three minute a uh, miracle something from Aussie better than these. Next is some razors, uh, Simply Venus by Gillette, and I did like this one. Um, I think I think it had like three different razor things, the razor heads, and then the thing. So I like these because, well, one thing I don't like about them is that there's only three blades. But what I do like about them is that they're very thin, so it's easy to travel around with them. And yeah, my next empty is this sleep aromatherapy from Bath and Water. Sleep Aromatherapy Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. Um, and this is a scent, Lavender Chamomile, which is to sleep. And it does smell pretty freaking delicious. It smells really good. Now, do I fall asleep instantly? No, because I like to be on social media a lot. And I waste a lot of my time there. Another empty I have for my hair is the L'Oreal Excellence High Color. Um, this is a color red hot. That's a color I currently have in my hair. Well, right now it's probably a little washed off, but I am soon doing a video of how I kind of dye my hair and how I kind of like take care of it um, because uh, one of my friends was interested in seeing it. So that's coming very, very soon. Next, I have a little empty sheet of the Sephora pomegranate face mask and these are sheet masks. And they're my favorite and I still have like a zillion more 
and I like them all the time, any day, every day, at any time. <laughs> One a mask I didn't quite like, but I ended up going through anyways, is the Apple Cider and Vinegar 4-in-1 Foaming Clay. Now, I got super excited because it said foaming, and I had seen videos of girls doing a mask, but like that foamed up that but that was actual a bubble mask which I later found one from Sephora and it was actually super fun I'll link the video down below if you want to watch it uh, but this one um, it didn't really dry up much so I prefer to use it as a scrubs so that's how I used it as a scrub for my face my next empties are actually two foundation let's start with this one this is the Maybelline dream wander fluid touch foundation now I really like this one when I first started using it but then it got so I got so tired of having to like dip it and then drop it and then dip it drop it dip it drop it because I use a beauty blender and those do use quite a bit of product um so it was really annoying um I finally finished it it is no longer the same tone of my skin tone um and I won't be repurchasing it because Mm, it just got really annoying. Now, this other foundation is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect. And this is the color. Oh, I forgot to say the color for this one. The color for this one is 80 Medium Buff. And I'm. it's now super light for me. Like, super light. Uh, because I'm way darker now. Um, and then this one is the color 008 Golden Beige. And I actually don't really use this one for my face because it's too dark. But I'm sure you've noticed in my videos that I have a lot of darkening right here. And it's because I have a health problem with hormones. Um, it's called PCOS. And I get, like, it gets, I get, depending on how my hormones are, it'll get really, really dark. Or it'll go back to my natural skin tone. Almost never is my natural skin tone. So I tend to put a little bit of makeup here so you don't see that much of a crazy difference. Um, sometimes my neck is too dark and it's not a scrubbing thing because I can exfoliate it as much as I can. And the skin is just dark because of the hormones. So I use this. Uh, sorry, that was a big rant. It just pisses me off. The, then my makeup, like it looks like my face is too bright and my chest is too bright. And this neck is just black. <laughs> but anyways... Um, so this, um, this foundation is, is dark enough to sometimes match with my neck. So I put it here, obviously not every day because that gets really tiring and it stains your clothes. But when I'm filming or when I have like, when I'm going to go out with friends or whatever, like special occasions, I'll do that. And this one already finished. Now I do like this one a lot for filming because it's like photo ready or whatever, like airbrush effect. It makes my decolletage or I think that's what it's called a like look really silky and pretty but in real life it actually kind of has a lot of glitter so I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this one anymore for that if one of y'all has a PCOS let me know in the comments down below and we can do like a support group <laughs> anyways my next empty is another body wash from Bath and Body Works this is the Mad About You Shea and Vitamin E shower gel and I don't remember Oh, I remember now what this one smells like. I really like the smell, the scent. Um, I, I, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. This was like a free thingy. I prefer the bigger, bo bigger bottles. This one is pretty annoying. Um, it's good for traveling, but since this time I'm not actually going to check in my luggage, I'm going to take an actual bar soap because I can't take big bottles. And this one for like six days it won't mm. the next one i am so sad that it's over this is the sephora mud mask a purifying and mattifying obviously they haven't dis discontinued it if they did i would be so sad and so mad but it was really good and it is completely empty um i don't know how long it took me to finish it i think like about three months or four maybe it's really really good a little bit goes a long way and i will not be repurchasing it for right now because I currently have the Peter Thomas Roth uh, sulfur mask and that one I feel like it kind of has the same mattifying acne fighting um, properties as this one that one is a little bit better um, but I still I will be repurchasing this one maybe like in a couple of months maybe in two or three months when that one is almost finished my other two kind of not empties are these two liners from e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Eyeliner and it's black and it still has 
a lot to go but I did not like this product at all I try to use it as much as I can and it just smudges everywhere and it bleeds a little bit and I do not want to deal with that so oh wrong lid so this is actually gonna go in the trash I'm sorry I don't know if it's because my face is too oily maybe that's why I don't know um but yeah and I don't want to give it to anyone because it's an eyeliner um, unless they chopped off like the top part. I don't know. I mean, not like I have like a flesh eating disease, but it's still not as sanitary. Um, and then I have the Wet n Wild Megalas Eyeliner. And this one is also black. This one also has quite a bit of product. But this one dried up on me. Um, now it's still, of course I can still draw a line. But since I use it for my waterline and for my, um, what's it called? Um, and for my tight line, um, it's too rough on my skin and it, the color payoff is not really there. So these two are going in the trash. And my last three products, um, the first one is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. And I used this one with my eye brushes and I can't believe how long it lasted because girl i use this like so often and it lasted me like a whole month i think i do need to get me another one of these because i really liked it next i finally finished the maybelline the falsies push-up drama and i really like this uh mm, well the brush i'm no longer a big fan of i liked it a lot at the beginning and also the formula but as it started getting drier, I noticed that it was actually pretty wet at the beginning, and now I kind of don't like that. So I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this one. And last, in a Ziploc baggie, I have my Dip Brow Pomade in the color Auburn. Now this has been a big mess. Um, the lid broke, so it dried up inside. I googled like how to fix it, and people said to put oil in it. So I put a drop and it of course like made it uh, soft again and I could use it and I used it but then every time I would use it it was already dried up again. I had to drop and uh, uh, I had to put a drop of oil in there and it was just such a big hassle. So then instead of putting a drop every time I did it I ended up doing three drops and now it's too oily and the, I feel like it also doesn't wear as much. Uh, maybe because I have really oily face and then I added oil, made it more watery. Ugh, I don't know. It sucks that I'm going to throw it away. It was pretty pricey compared to the Milani one. My next empty is actually one of my favorites. This is the Formula X Nail Hydrator. Now, it looks like it's full. It actually is not. It's just that it's been tumbling around in that bag. So that's why it looks like that. But it's probably about right here. But it's at that stage, you know, where nail polishes are like too deep and you can put them, move them around, but you still don't get as much product. It also is very dry. You, If, if you can see how stringy it kind of is now. Um, so I don't like to use it anymore. I definitely need to go get me another one. Um, So yeah, if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, I will post about it on Instagram. Um, Some people are not, they probably think this is a doo-doo brown but i actually kind of like it i feel kind of edgy <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys next time bye